I decided to look onto Google for an easy and quick plan that is inside the outline. Then I looked at the picture they had posted and sketched a similar design only using 100 popsicle sticks. Once I figured out where each popsicle stick went, I just followed the picture. The only thing I had to change was the amount of popsicle sticks I used, and because I changed that, I had to change where some of them were put so I would have fewer weak spots. One problem I had was that I could only do a certain amount of gluing in one day, because then it would be too flimsy to pick up or to add to. The second problem I had was that when I wanted to glue the sides to the bottom, it wouldn't glue straight. I think that my bridge was pretty good because I have strong joints and connections. I had a really good and strong design. The only place I think that it will fail is on the sides because they aren't supported very good and seem to be quite weak. As you saw in my video, the sides collapsed. The reason the sides collapsed was because I didn't have very strong supports on them. And once the sides collapsed, the whole deck just fell down. My bridge is an example of, fr of a frame structure. A frame structure is normally lightweight and it has holes in it, but when put together can be quite strong. The type of force that is acting on my bridge would be pull. The reason it is pull is because the bridge sits on the board and it pulls the deck downward. The weight of the bridge by itself is called a dead load, because everything on the bridge is on there permanently. I would improve my bridge by strengthening the walls so they're not flimsy and won't bend as much 